<laughs> Gary, congratulations. Three to round number two at the Betfred World Match Play. Wasn't straightforward up there though, was it? No, it was, no, it was, it was weird, you know. Well, I've said that a few times this month, uh, well, last couple of months, you know. We are doing the tonight thing, trying to play with nobody in front of you, nobody sh well, shouting out score-wise, and uh, yeah, definitely different. You seem to be fighting with yourself up there at times, and especially at the end of the first break. What was going through your head? Because it looked like you were ticking at the time. Yeah, you usually can swear and get away with it because nobody can hear you. <laughs> you know, it's a bit, a bit quieter up there, but nah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's different. You know, we're, we're used to a bit of the banter, you know, you have the, the crowds that would want Justin to win, the crowds that would want me to win, and you get a bit of, a bit of aggro in the crowds, you know, which is a bit different, but nah, it's a bit, a bit strange, you know, but we got there at the end. You've seen most things in darts. What was it like for the artificial noise being pumped into the arena to give it some atmosphere? I struggled with it. You know, I've got one of these, I don't know, if, you know, if Hammer says yapping and I'm talking to you, I can't, can't hear what you're saying because he's giving it big licks, you know, but, uh, no, it, it was weird, you know, it was, yeah, but, ah, listen, we've got to get on with it. The darts is on, that's all that matters. We heard you say it's not Blackpool. Are you a bit of a creature of habit then? Do you like to know tournaments where they should be and everything like that? Yeah, like I said, Blackpool's not one of my favourite ones. No one, I've, I've seen it many years, but, you know, match play, Blackpool. Grand Slam, Wolverhampton, Ali Pali, World Championships, you know, that's that's the home of the darts. That's where the tournament should be played, you know, but like I say, we're kind of, we're in trouble now with what's been going on, so, listen, we're playing darts. You know, the PDC's done a lot of work to get us to play that, so, you know, we, we've got to be grateful we're, we're still playing. Coming into the tournament, there's been a lot of talk around Michael Van Gogh and Peter Wright. Do you like the fact that you've just gone under the radar this time a little bit? Oh, past Kieran. To be honest, don't give a monkeys. Really don't give a monkeys. You know, I'm getting to the stage now, I've enjoyed it. Do I still enjoy it? Yes, or I wouldn't be here. Is uh, the heart 100%? Maybe not. But, uh, that's the way it goes, you know, it's, uh, am I going to do this time 55, 60? No. That's, that's, that's the easy way to answer it, Phil. I ain't going to spend the rest of my life living in hotels and playing darts, you know. I've, I've got things to do, I've got a young family, I've got to do things with them. You know, I'm not just going to come here and play darts for the next 12 months, every year for the next 10 years. It ain't going to happen. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. It's a familiar foe in round two in James Wade. Is there enough left in the Gary Anderson locker? I don't know, I might wake up, probably go back to sleep, I don't know, but uh, we did played well, you know, so, like I say, you know what you're going to get with James, give him a sniff and he'll take it out, but, uh, yeah, nah, we'll see what happens. Got a couple of days, I might get a bit shopping now that we're allowed out, hit a Costa or two, Wagamamas, and, uh, yeah, see what Tuesday brings. Gary, pleasure as always, mate, thank you. Thank you, Phil. Just one from me, Gary, if that's all right. Uh, just no. touching on the <laughs> <laughs> just, just touching on the work on the uh, summer series. We saw you have some some huge averages and lose. What what was the what well, was it like for you? I played. My scoring was absolutely fantastic. Absolutely, the the whole four or five days that we played, my scoring was about finishing. Absolutely dreadful. I mean, it wasn't even. No, can't actually see it on camera how bad it was, but it was absolutely rotten. Rotten scoring wise, yeah, absolutely through the roof. You know, finishing couldn't have had a double to save my life. Mm. And uh, yeah, there was I think there was one game I had forty nine darts and hot two doubles. Double ten. That was a cul culprit, you know, but uh, nah, it, it, it was good, like I say. It was uh it was strange coming back, getting locked in your room for five days, but coming back and play some of the players struggled to be honest, with the the situation, but listen, we're out playing darts and that's that's all that counts. Do you think it's positive that you've got five days in Milton Keynes or get used to the surroundings? Yeah, five again? days and then ten days if you're lucky enough and then we're back for six days or seven days. <laughs> yeah, might as well buy a house. We might as well all move here. It'd be cheaper. <laughs> What's your plans for the next few days then? A couple of days up until January. I might go home. If it causes any trouble, I'll be going home. No, I'll stay here. Do a bit of shopping. A bit of Milton Keynes and Waggers. <laughs> Dave's having a heart attack. <laughs> 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 Cheers, Cheers, Thank you. Okay.